Welcome back to the 100th episode of I Know Football. I have something very special planned for you guys today. I'm going to be reviewing these Saints football jerseys. You saw me unbox it a few weeks ago, and you guys have been hitting me up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, trying to find out when I was going to do this review. So uh, this is probably going to be one of my favorite reviews because obviously I love football gear, and why not do a football jersey? But uh, it just so happens that it coincides with the 100th episode, so I think you guys will like it too. Uh, but first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the details of the Safe football jersey that uh, me and some of my teammates ordered. I'm going to go through kind of the history of the Lions jerseys uh, that I have played in uh, over the years in just the, uh, the three years I've been with them. So go through some of that and how they compare to uh, the newest jerseys that we're rocking, which are the Safe football jerseys. I think you'll like it. Uh, so with that being said, let's get right down into the review. So the first jersey, I don't even know what year this is around, but uh, if you don't order a jersey for our team, you were forced to play in these old jerseys. And nothing against, you know, this old jersey, but as you can see, it's faded because it's screen printed. Uh, there's no spandex in the sleeves. The mesh stretches and the side stretches. And that's about it, but it's really not a fitted jersey. If you go to my Facebook page, you'll see a lot of players that they do not have the Lions name across the front of the jersey, like this one, uh, then it's going to be one of the older jerseys. No name on the back is either, and uh, I think this, I don't even know what the price was, but this is where we started. Then from there, we went to these jerseys. This is, uh, I think, called Gamer Wear. As you can see, it's fitted. Shout out to Greg. Uh, he was the one, Greg Holcomb, shout out to him. He's the one who actually got the lines to start using these jerseys. As you can see, uh, it's, it's short, it's fitted, um, it's a nice cut, but the shoulders still, there's zero stretch here. Zero flex, zero stretch. Side panels, of course, are spandex, and the body of the jersey is spandex as well. So, names on here as well. Um, and that's just, these jerseys retail for, I think, 120 at least that's what they're going for now, 120 a jersey. So that's that one. We'll come back to this in a little bit. Then we'll go to the most recent Lions jerseys before the Saints ones. These are Rebel Sports. And uh, again, no diss on any other brands. Just doing, you know, comparison. Obviously, I'm a football person, so um, it's just my opinion on what I like. But these jerseys, um, they're pretty cost effective. About $60, $65 per jersey. But you can tell, again, zero flex here. And uh, you have zero stretch. You know through the body so the only stretch you're going to get is actually on the side panel um, in terms of fitted this J this jersey as a matter of fact is actually tailored I took this to a tailor and I paid an additional um, $35 per side so that was $70 per jersey that was an additional $140 per jersey that I had to get it fitted to my size and this is actually an extra small uh, then we'll go into the safe jersey this is identical home version of what I'm wearing right now and this one is four-way stretch. If you don't know what four-way stretch means, it means that not only the side panel stretches, every jersey should. If you have a jersey with side panels that don't stretch, just throw that away or blame your coach or something. But uh, then the body, the eyelid mesh is actually compression as well. So that is going to stretch just like the rest of the jersey. Then the interesting thing about this is it's hard to find for this price is the shoulder panel. So the shoulder panels are actually stretched as well. And you're probably wondering what the benefit is. You know, you, you guys have been wearing jerseys for a long time, been playing football since you were younger, and what the advantage is. But I'm going to show you exactly why, um, you know, I want to go with the four-way stretch for my teammates. Um, it's not only just four-way stretch, but it's still durable here as well. So I actually had to, uh, when I went through safes, um, I had to ask them, hey, tell me everything about this jersey because I'm going to do a review on it and I want to make sure I don't miss anything. So I wrote some things down for you uh, just to go over it. But uh, first I'll just go over the initial price. Each, each of these jerseys are going to be, if you just start with the blank jersey, it's going to be about uh, around $100. So the price is going to go up, obviously depending on what your team does. So we have, you know, a second color here, um, but other than that, it's a pretty plain jersey. You know, the neck is one color, there's no embroidery. Like if you take a look at my Team USA jersey, this is going to be a little bit more expensive because it has embroidery, you know, right here. The letters are nice, big, and embroidered, two color. Same thing with the numbers. So if you look at this jersey, you know, you've got solid colors, uh, embroidery as well, and that's something that you don't find on a lot of jerseys. But anyway, going back to the details of this jersey, 
Some of the benefits are superior neck rib and sleeve ribs. So that's going to be just uh, the quality of this. And if you take a look at what I'm wearing, the quality of this, I don't know if you can see it. And then you take a look at this, you can see, you see the, all those ripples right there, how it's not straight. This is going to have no rippling because the quality of the material of the neck rib. It's also going to be tight around your arms. I know I look like I'm a big dude, but I'm not that big a dude. And you see how this is tight around my arms at all times. So some of the other benefits are going to be uh, just the eyelid mesh compression, four-way stretch, which I went over, so the side panel stretch and everything. Uh, tackle twill numbers. So you saw the version that I showed you here where this is screen printed and you get that fading and it looks nice and old. You're not going to have that. Tackle twill. Basically sewn on numbers. Uh, the other thing is the, the spandex check sh shoulders and then just the number of different types of jerseys they have available. So they have different styles. I guess that a little bit too. Uh, but you go to safes, www.safes.com, don't have to write it down, I put it in the description and you can contact them there for their catalog which will be posted later this fall and you see the variety of football jerseys they have. Uh, but I did want to compare these two before I show you what it looks like with pads on uh, to some of your Nikes and Adidas jerseys that you guys will be familiar with. So everyone, I know you guys watch college football, what you see is you see like the cuts in the middle and, you, and the back and you guys like that and what that's used for. So the reason why they're there is obviously when you have a fitted jersey like this, you have to stretch it over the pads. So it has cuts in the middle so you, to allow for that stretch. Um, so when a comparable Nike jersey, um, I just looked at the Nike Team catalog this morning, is actually going to run you about $150. That's for blank, one color, plain jersey, which is kind of similar to this. Um, and this one was around $100. Um, if you look at Adidas, the Adidas Tech Fit, which is their version of, again, four-way stretch, stretching all areas, that's going to run you $175 for a plain jersey. Prices only go up from there, including the safe jerseys, depending on the amount of detail that you want to have on there. So you're probably looking at this jersey and you're like, that shit is tight as hell. How are you going to fit it under your pads? A lot of my teammates were skeptical too, and I told them, hey, I play within a Germany. It's four-way stretch. It's definitely going to fit. So I'm going to show you what that looks like by putting on my pads. Before I get into uh, the jersey and put on pads, I want you to take a look at these pads which I reviewed. And one difference between probably the pads that you may have, um, there's two types. There's some that have belts. So this is actually like a belt buckle. It goes in and once you cinch it, there's no flex. It's not going to flex. Then there's the type that have the spandex that you pull and you just click in. And that, those are going to have some flex here. You know, if you're getting blocked you know, on your pads and they push them up, if you have the spandex, they're actually, they're still going to flex, right, because they're stretchy. It's a little bit harder with the belt, uh, you know, for them to push it up, but the downfall is you can't ever get them as tight because, you know, the spandex actually pulls them in a little bit. A compression jersey is going to solve both those problems for the, both those pads, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. All right, so... Put the shoulder pads on. Shoulder pads are not even buckled because I wanted to show you guys like how compressed the jersey was. You would think that they actually were buckled. But the thing about the compression jersey is it actually pulls the shoulder pads closer to your body so it acts like additional straps. So with that, with how tight the jersey is, you're not even going to be able to get your hand underneath the shoulder pads. So you already have an advantage there. Like if you're playing DB as myself and someone tries to block you, they can't get their hands underneath your shoulder pads. The other advantage is if you play offense, you can't grab the jersey. So there's nothing that you're going to, you know, if you're running and someone tries to pull you, if you're a running back, any skill position, they can't grab you to pull you down. It's very hard. It's very slick. So again, you have another advantage. The other thing with compression is it just helps your muscles. So it's breathable because it's eyelet mesh, but it is compressed all around here. And you already know my views on compression. You've seen my other compression videos. Um, so those are some of the advantages that why I like a compression jersey besides just some of the physical looks of it. So now you guys probably want to know about sizing. So after playing with uh, Team USA and I had a large there and ordering this jersey, um, I finally settled on what I know is the exact sizing to tell you guys. So this jersey is actually a small and uh, I probably should have went with a medium but as you can see it still fits perfectly. Uh, if you see my pictures there's nothing wrong with it. 
uh, but for a little bit more ease, it pro I probably should have went with the medium. Uh, so what that means is your normal t-shirt size. Now, some of you I know you probably wear like big tees, but if your normal fitted t-shirt size, a shirt that fits you the right way that's like snug on you, but not like tight on you, that is the size that you want to order this jersey in. So my normal size is a medium that you know makes the shirt look like fitted. Um, that's the shirt size that I probably, or that's the jersey size I should have ordered. So they come in large sizes too. Um, XL is going to stretch a ton, trust me. Um, and then small is probably going to be, like I fit a small and I'm 6'1", I'm 200 pounds. Um, so that gives you a variation of how the sizing is. Um, so now I can get to my favorite part with the video, which is actually the giveaway. You guys are probably wondering what I'm giving away because you saw my unboxing. Well, let me tell you, I uh, contacted Scott at Safe's and I said, hey, you know, I want to do a review and uh, for my 100th episode, I really want to give something away. So I actually talked with him and he has given me another jersey to sign and give away to you guys. So this is just like the jersey I'm wearing. As you can see, it's safe. It's stretched all the way around for me to give away. Uh, this is what I wear in games. The only difference is I asked him to send me a different cut. So this is more of a skill position cut, um, you know, so you can lift your arms when you have pads on. Um, but I asked him to send me a lineman cut because most likely you guys will be wearing these as a t-shirt or you're keeping it as memorabilia and when you have the jersey like this it just displays a little bit better so this is actually going to be a lineman cut jersey so you can wear it you know as a shirt around I'm going to sign it for you in fact I'm going to sign it right now I'm going to leave the two blank because depending on who wins I'm going to put their name in there So here you go, I signed it right there, it says two that's left blank from my first and last name, AK Ana Football. So here's the giveaway, one lucky winner will get this for the 100th episode. As usual, the details are in the description. Here's what you're going to win. If you like my video, remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends, and I will see you next time.